Oh, here's a good one. Especially if you're on the phone a lot. I have another call coming in. Can you hang on? The phrase makes the customer feel like they're being put off and they're second place to whoever's come calling in. Even if it's your most important client, even if it's your biggest client that you have, maybe if you say, if you don't mind, I'm going to put you on hold while I figure out a solution, quickly click over to the other person, hey, can I call you back? I'm on a call right now. And then you make both people happy. So you can see how the way you word stuff makes a huge impact on, on how you sound to a customer either in person or on the phone. Does anyone have any situations where they had to either reword something that they said or they've had something like this happen to them when they've been going through customer service? John? I'm a horrible customer service person. I know. I expect, <laughs> if I'm dealing business with people, I really expect them to. If they want my money, they need to shine. Right? Mm -hmm. And if they do shine, I go out of my way to make sure I, I notify the manager. But I had a customer service incident with Verizon. My wife had to walk away. I was on the phone. Uh, but I was talking to the lady. Clearly, she was on a script. I told her that I was going to stop talking to her if she couldn't put her script away and listen to me. <laughs> and she wouldn't put the script away, so I asked for her manager. What they had done is, remember back in the old days when you got a new cell phone because you was broke? And you had to send the other one in by like eight days where they charge you like $500. Mm -hmm. Well, they were charging me like $500, but FedEx already showed that they had the phone there. The bottom line was I got to talk to the manager. Um, they charged me the $500, even though I had the receipt saying that some guy named Joe in the warehouse had signed for it. But they told me that their system wasn't uh, up to speed yet. Well, I flipped it around on them and I... <clears throat> Got them to give me $25, just like the late charge they would have charged me if I didn't pay them. So it wound up working out in the end. But um, the fact that they stick to their script and don't listen to what the customer is saying just drives me absolutely crazy. It's annoying. <clears throat> yes, and that's how we have the opportunity to set us apart. Because we are not big companies that require agents to read a script, like Verizon, in this situation. We can have that personal touch as micro businesses <laughs> to make an impact in our community to people that probably truly need it. We never know what people are going through when they're on the other end of the, of the desk or the phone. <coughs> we don't know.